Okay, welcome everyone to my continuation of what are my favorite theorems, my very biased collection as usual. Um, today there will be a theorem, although it sounds like there is no theorem, because I'm going to show you a trick, whatever a trick means. It's obviously not really a trick, but kind of it kind of uh, fools the brain, and that's what we call a trick, I guess. So trick equals fools the brain, at least it fools my brain. It's really, really beautiful, and it's this idea that 700... A 20 degrees rotation or twist actually we'll see is trivial which is kind of weird but it turns out to be the case and well the corresponding trick is called the axe belt trick so there's a belt involved and i should do this uh, live for you with a belt um but well like this belt here but uh honestly i it's better if i don't do it live and rather run a simulation you can do it live that's no problem. There are some links in the description, but I'm, well, well, maybe not really great at these things, so I will definitely mess that up. It's better to do it uh, in an animation. The animation is pretty cute. Again, also linked in the description. Okay, but before we go to the animation, here's a belt. So there should be a belt trick. So we want the belt. And we will rotate the belt twice around 360 degrees. So kind of the idea here is that if you just think of a uh, two-dimensional space and a rotation by 360 degrees will go back to its original state. But in three space, that's just not the case. And we need a bigger rotation to get back to its original state. Here we twist it by 360 degrees twice. This is where the 720 degrees comes up. And it will look like, just watch at the animation in a second, that this is really twisted. So I can certainly do the first step for you. So here is my belt, and I twist it by 720 degrees. And it looks very twisted, as you can see, but it's actually not. So let's have a look at the animation. So here's the animation. We will have a look later as well. But for now, what you see here, I will, uh, it will be animated in a second right now. It's not working, is a belt. And ignore the part on the right, we will come back to that later. But you can definitely see the belt, and you should imagine that you're holding the belt, or you can try it yourself if you're, you're certainly much better than I am. So you can try it yourself by just holding the belt like this. Um, and we will twist it, and it looks very twisted, but it turns out that 720 degrees in 3D is actually trivial. We'll see that. So it's not 360 degrees, but it's 720 degrees. So let's Click to redraw, redraw. So here it twists the belt. You can see that. So it goes 360 and then all the way up to 720. It looks very twisted, but you can undo it without untwisting. Uh, and this is a kind of a very strange operation. It's a bit tricky to do with your hands. That's why I don't want to do it. Um, it's not so hard either, but it needs a bit of practice. And I'm just not good at practicing, I guess. I'm very lazy. Nice to meet you. How are you? Um, anyway, so let's try again. So we, we rotate. Yeah, It rotates um, by 720 degrees. And it looks really, really twisted, right? It, it really does this operation here. Um, but it's not. You can undo it without untwisting, which is kind of a really strange thing. And that's what we are going to discuss now uh, for the remaining part of this video. Why, actually, this is not a trick by why this is supposed to work. Okay, the animation will come up later again. I hope you got the point. We twist by 720 degrees and you can undo it without untwisting. Of course, I can undo, undo a twist by untwisting, but that's kind of boring. Uh, I want to undo it without untwisting and you can, which is really, really strange. It's really, really strange. And you really need 720 degrees. So if you would go 360, you couldn't do it. And we'll have a theorem in about two slides. Um, so let's have a look at the picture you see here, which we'll have in the animation later again. So you, I think about there's a space, and in the space, I kind of move around in the space, and the space we will see it in a second is the space of rotations of three space. And there are essentially two directions. So in this direction here, if you go from left to right or right to left, so there are two options to twist. I can twist like this, or I can twist like this. And these are the two directions we can go horizontally. Well, that's just the convention. And there's also the, the way to twist like this, which is a bit boring, but that's um, how we go vertically in uh, this well, configuration space or whatever you want to call it. 
in this picture we have in mind of something we will see in a second. Right now, it's just a picture. We draw a little disk and we move around in the disk and moving around in the disk horizontally corresponds to twist and moving around vertically corresponds to, well, this funny twist operation. This is slightly boring, not funny, slightly boring twist operation. Okay, so that's what we want to do. And here are the 180 degrees twists. So 180 degrees goes kind of half away uh, through the disk. And the point is that 360 degrees goes all the way through the disk. So it's actually a non-trivial pass now uh, from here to here, or depending on what kind of twist we do from here to here. So the interesting operation that we are looking at is the twist left to right. Um, and the other one is the twist from bottom to top. And it does this one here. And it also twists, as you can see, but it's kind of a different type of twist. And a claim, and it's something you could prove formally, um, without relying on twisting belts, but you can also try it with a belt if you want, that the following is true. And I will come back to this picture after I've explained the mass. We'll come back to this picture and the animation in a second. So now, uh, by the way, 720 degrees is doing it twice. So 720 would be going around and going around again, right? And that's the point, going around and going around again, I claim that this is trivial, or the belt trick claims that this is trivial, actually. And here's a statement. So we have the, well, let's say the group of rotations of three space, which is exactly what we do here. We have an object and we rotate it in three space. That's exactly what we do. That's why the belt comes up. Actually, we could probably do it with something different than the belt. But anyway, it's about rotations of three space. And it's a little bit this idea that we understand rotations of two space is this operation pretty well, but our brain gets a little bit tricked by rotations of three space. And that's an interesting group. It's called SO3R. So a special orthogonal three is referring to the dimension and R is referring to, well, the, the ground field, if you want. And the point is the statement that you can prove that it's actually not simply connected. So you can have non-trivial paths in this space but it's not so bad. So it's only off by Z mod two. And the Z mod two is the following. So the 360 degree twist is stuck. That's a non-trivial pass. We'll revisit that in a second. But doing it twice, the 720 degree twist comes back to itself. So here, just uh, if you write this in the usual notation zero one, so one being the non-trivial element and that this is go going to be additive, then one plus one is zero. The one operation is twist by 360 degrees. And this is really just saying the 720 degrees twist should be trivial. And the, the topological interpretation of this group is actually funny, a bit hard to imagine, but I always like this picture here. So it's uh, the idea of taking antipodal points on our good old uh, sphere, right? It is S3, honestly, and my picture is S2, but the kind of the idea is the same. So you have our sphere, which is a globe, and antipodal points is exactly here what happens. For example, Australia goes all the way through the middle of the picture, so through the middle of the Earth, and ends up right, very nicely actually, right in the Atlantic Ocean, but just flipped on top. So this is kind of the, the inversion map on um, the, the map itself, on the map of the Earth. And yeah, so this is kind of fun. And if you identify uh, antipodal points, so do you identify this Australia with this Australia, what you get is actually this SO3. Again, you did do this in three dimensions. So what I show you here, strictly speaking, is what is called the projective plane. But anyway, so the, the, the picture is the same. We identify antipodal points. And this will be important in our little picture now. So keep that in mind. We want to show or we want to see, we already know it actually by the bell trick, that um, tr turning around twice is trivial, which corresponds to the group being pretty small, the group of loops. And here's our path through S3, uh, SO3. So the notation is slightly different. Here it's SO3, um, which is the same as on my la diff uh, previous slide, um, just different notation. So here, that's my notation. It's the same. And we will follow now the path in the animation, and we will see doing it twice is going around twice, uh, going doing it once, so 360 is going around once. That's not trivial. Doing it twice is a 720 degree twist. That's trivial, and we can actually see that in the animation. 
Cool, here's our animation again. I would like you to now focus your attention on this piece down here because we will have a path through SO3 while we redraw this. And the path is, this is the 360 degrees, it's just going around once. And then it does the going around twice and that's actually trivial. And you can undo it using that operation, which I um, exactly in the same way that I explained before what the path going up and down actually is. And there you go. And you have the trivial pass again. It's really, really beautiful. I should mention here that because this is an antipodal point picture, those two points are identified. So one straight line from here to here is really a closed loop in the space. So let's do it again. So at the 360 mark, which will be now, you have a closed loop and it's not trivial. We go around twice and you can actually undo it uh, as in this picture here. It's really, really nice and beautiful. So 720 degrees is actually trivial in three space, which is kind of a cool result. All right, belt trick, which I wasn't able to do live. Oh, obviously I can do this operation. The other one is a bit trickier. Anyway, it's not, it's not so hard. I'm just, too, I'm just too bad. I'm very sorry. Anyway, uh, the belt trick shows this idea that 720 degree rotation is non-trivial. Um, and it corresponds to the rotation group having a non-trivial loop by rotation by 360 degrees, but 720 degrees is then trivial, which again corresponds to, well, the statement on the, the theorem slide that pi one is Z mod two. So Z mod two is just say doing it twice is trivial. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope to see you next time.